Somebody paid for our school fees and took us to school. And for many years, we, na we were in alliance, not having school fees, but God provided. So young people, as you sit there, don't and what you want to be, and God will make it happen. Your dreams are valid, and they will be validated by the hard work that you have. I'm a miracle, and I am a testimony of that, that we were nothing. But from nothing, widow background, can do to you, you clothes, not what you dress, not what people say. Just forget them and focus on what God has called you to do and your dream. So as a mother, I want to tell you, a woman is a, is a person who has a womb. And this womb receives a seed and produces hope and a future for the children. And I told you when you read about Deborah of old, we find she was wearing very many hats. This nation, I'm trying to juggle all these hats. And one of the things that you found this woman called Deborah had, she was a wife of as it is. And people will come to know when you speak the truth, the truth will bear you all. And many people don't want to live by the truth. And I love this man. And you children. <laughs> if you don't believe that he's a boy children, did you see somebody here who was here in 1959? He's a, he's a and I must fight for them. I am their champion. And I said, I will walk with you, I will stand for you, I will fight for you until I... <laughs> this woman, Deborah also, was a prophetess. And she prophesied about the public sector. We have a few who we need to improve and to pull up our socks. But what if you can continue to award us, I'm very sure many will change their mindset and will start doing the right thing. <laughs> Reflecting on my upbringing, I am reminded of the, uh, of the values instilled in me by my mother, a widow who taught me the virtue of hard work, faith, and prayer. Her legacy remains a guiding light in my, uh, in my life, shaping my character from a young age. And so mothers who are here, I, I can tell you whatever I'm receiving here has something to do with what my mother did, the values that she instilled in me. And that is why you see I'm going out there trying to get those young men, young people who are out there hopeless, directionless, and looking for people who can guide them, who can mentor them, and they are in the streets looking dirty. I'm sure as you saw that, you could see the transformation of people who are in the streets looking like they, they are going nowhere. And if they were to come here today like they were with me this morning, you would not have known the difference. So it behooves all, every one of us that we rise up, whether you are private or a public servant, we are called to serve. And I believe that the purpose for which we came to this earth was to serve one another. And today, I really want to take even this opportunity to, to, for my office, if my office can stand. These are men and women we have been working with. And God being my witness, these people have worked without any pay. They have volunteered. volunteered to be out there in the dens, to be out there collecting these young people from where they have fallen in the gutter because they believe in the vision of a brighter future for the boy child. Thank you very much, my office. That award goes to you. I'm very sure without you, I would not have been here.
Allow me to share you our ambitious objective as an office. Before the end of this year, we aspire to extend our impact to 12,000 boys and men. Public funds alone are insufficient to combat this drug pandemic that has plagued our youth for decades. We must therefore call upon the private sector to contribute to this noble cause. Ladies and gentlemen, since the inception of the Boy Child Program, we have held medical camps, feeding programs to reach out to the boys and men. Many have expressed a strong desire to be free from shackles of addiction. My office has a record of more than 2,000 on the waiting list who wish to undergo rehabilitation. For now, today we were graduating the very uh, first cohort and I'm very, to re uh, very proud to report that 200 of them have come from various rehabilitation centers and we are taking them to a vocational training for the next few days as we look for a way to connect them with jobs. And I want to... I want to thank the cabinet secretary who has uh, pledged that she will, she will be taking some of my boys. And I can tell you that gives my heart the hope for these boys for tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, I just want to call on every one of us. This world will be better if we act like human beings. And to be a human being is to feel for one another. And to be able to see the plight and the problems of others and lending a hand so that those people, can stop, you can stop the suffering of others. You should have seen the smile on those boys when they wore those suits and I could tell something had changed for them. They paid for our school fees and took us to school. And for many years, we, not, we were in alliance, not having school fees, but God provided. So young people, as you sit there, don't and what you want to be, and God will make it happen. Your dreams are valid, and they will be validated by the hard work that you have. I'm a miracle, and I am a testimony of that, that we were nothing. But from nothing, widow background, can do to you, you clothes. Not what you dress, not what people say. Just forget them and focus on what God has called you to do and your dream. So as a mother, I want to tell you, a woman is a, is a person who has a womb. And this womb receives a seed and produces hope and a future for the children. And I told you when you read about Deborah of old, we find she was wearing very many hats. This nation, I'm trying to juggle all these hats. And one of the things that you found this woman called Deborah had, she was a wife of as it is. And people will come to know when you speak the truth, the truth will bear you all. And many people don't want to live by the truth. And I love this man. And you children. <laughs> if you don't believe that he's a boy children, did you see somebody here who was here in 1959? He's a, he's a and I must fight for them. I am their champion. And I said, I will walk with you, I will stand for you, I will fight for you until I... <laughs> this woman, Deborah also, was a prophetess. And she prophesied 